is watching the end of the movie until that cat is back in its basket. Fine. I'll get it. Anything to find out who did it! Be careful, Norman. Uh, uh, hey! Uh, get your stinky tail off me! Really getting on my nerves. Norman, are you okay? I'm fine. Now, where's the cat gone now? Wait, Norman, don't scare it. I can't catch the cat. I think we have bigger problems. I'll get my dad. Sam, I've had a bit of an accident cleaning your uniform. But I did get rid of the smell. <laughs> Thanks, Elvis. But I think I... Ooh. There is a fire at the Flood's house. Mandy, Hannah and Norman are trapped inside. There's a fire at the Flood's house. Mandy, Hannah and Norman are trapped inside. is on fire! Again! Norman, Mandy, Haga, I need you to keep away from the front door! Ready, Penny? Ready, Sam. Stay back, everyone! <laughs> Take my hand! Keep as low as you can, and I'll guide you through the smoke and out of the house. Walk straight and head towards <laughs> Jupiter's blue flashing lights. Sam! The cat is still in there! Okay, Norman, I'll find it. Tonight, Penny. They could be miles away by now. Let's try north, Ben. Sam's out there somewhere. Roger that, Penny. Help! 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 Hold on! I'm on my way. Look, that must be from Sam. Are we glad to see you, Sam? Is everyone okay? We're all fine, Sam. Just a bit wet. Right. Help, Monsieur. Let's get you all out of the water. You all must know that you should never go out on a boat without telling anyone where you're going. I mean, you didn't even have any life jackets or flares. We're really sorry, Sam. Well, it's a good job Norman and Hannah were looking for you, or no one would have known you were missing. Oh, we're very sorry our little society caused such distress, Fireman Sam. Did you hear that? They admitted it! They are a secret society! They were trying to lure the moon men to Ponty Pandy, and we, the Wi-Fi Isles, thwarted their plan! Oh, oh, no, no. No, we don't lure moon men. 
They're a stargazing society. Oh, I see. But how did you know that, Hannah? I, I mean, Agent Sparks. I'm a Wi-Files investigator, remember? Actually, I just looked at their laptop. So why were you so secretive? We've discovered a new star, and we're going to be the ones to name it. That's what I thought. Unfortunately, according to the Star Watcher website, the star you were trying to look at was discovered last month. Oh, oh dear. Could this be? Well, that's another Wi Files case closed. Uh, Fireman Sam, would you like to join our Wi Files team? Eh? Uh, no, no. Uh, thank you, Norman. I think I'll just leave that to you two experts. Ah! Oh! wasn't there last time. When was that? Ten years ago. Oh. Hit the brakes! Hit the brakes! Hit the brakes! I know! Hit the brakes! I don't think I'll make that helicopter ride. We need to call Fireman Sam. Norman and Dennis Price are stuck in a tree inside their car over the ravine in the woods. Oh, my! And on to your last activity, the ride in Wallaby 2! This is going to be brilliant! I can't wait! I love Wallaby 2! Norman and Dillis Price are stuck in the tree inside their car over the ravine in the woods. Come on, Elvis. I'll need your help for this one. Right, cadets. Back to the centre. What? I don't believe this. <sighs> Trust Norman Price to ruin our helicopter ride. How much farther? Over. The ravine is just ahead. Over. The car will be unsteady. I'll secure it first, and then we can rescue Norman and Dillis. Sam, Elvis, stand by to lower. The car is secure. Norman and Dennis, we're coming to get you. OK. I need you to both keep very still whilst we open the doors. Ready, Elvis? One, two, three. Now, we're going to lean inside the car and attach you to a harness. Ready? That's it. Steady now. All clear. Pull us up now. Quick, hide upstairs. Oh, phew, we're safe. Oh. <laughs> I just think I'm getting sick. That's the first sign of being a body. <sighs> Norman! <coughs> ah! What'll I do? What'll I do? I'll call Fireman Sam. Oh, no. Where's the phone? Oh, we buried it. Ah! I'm not going out there. Uh, I need to signal for help. Um, uh, ooh, a flare. Oh, no. Oh, no! I, I just had a terrible dream that Norman Price threw a flare into the laundry basket and set fire to me house. 
It wasn't a dream, was it? Norman Price has set off a flare and caused a fire in the Flood's house. Norman Price has set off a flare and caused a fire in the Flood's house! Elvis and Annie, you fight the fire from outside, Penny and I will rescue anyone inside. Right, Tom. Oh, the door's blocked. Stand back! Oh. Calm down, Norman, it's just me. That sounds like Mandy. You take Norman and Mike out, Penny. I'm going up. And stay back from the door. I'm coming in. Oh. You're safe now, Mandy. Shall we take the red carpet with us, Sam? No, Elvis. I think this carpet's royal days are over. We know, James. You hate broke bridges across ravines. But you're nearly here. Gotcha! Now it's just me to go. Let me show you lot how it's done. You, Sean Big T. What's that sheep doing? What? Sheep? Um, looks like it's eating the rope. No, 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 no! Go away! Come on, Tom. You're a wild man. Uh oh. Whoa! Ow! Ow! Oh, no! Ow! I've hurt my shoulder. I can't climb out. I think we better call Fireman Sam, eh? Neither can I. I can with my Viewmaster 2000. What are they doing? Well, it doesn't look like they managed to find a toy for the little prince. Oh. But it does look like Dillis managed to sell them a jar of pickles from the discount oil. Hooray! Ooh, Dillis will be pleased. She's been trying to use those up before they go out of date. Oh, they're coming out. Tom Thomas is stuck on a rocky ledge and has injured his shoulder. Tom Thomas is stuck on a rocky ledge and has injured his shoulder. Roger that, sir. Um, but, sir, if Tom is stuck on a ledge, who's going to fly the rescue helicopter? I can fly a helicopter. Oh. Oh, that hairy monstrosity has chopped my turnip into smithereens. 
We have to stop Norris before he ruins the whole competition. James is stuck on a giant runaway pumpkin that's smashing through the park. James is stuck on a giant runaway pumpkin that's smashing through the park. Firefighter Phillips, can you pick up Fireman Sam at the park? Roger that, sir! You take Norris back to the fire station. I'll go and rescue James. Roger that, Sam! Ellie! Follow that pumpkin. Of them. Now, try and edge your way over towards me. I can't, Uncle Sam. I'm attached to the pumpkin by a harness. It's never easy in Ponty Pandy. We're going to have to be quick, Sam. We're heading for the cliffs. Oh, did she say cliffs? <laughs> Just keep your eyes on me, James. Sam, the wind's blown the door shut. Hang on! Where's she going? Don't worry, James. She'll be back. We're going to go over the cliff! No, we're not, James. Someone order a rescue! Uh, why is she going backwards? So the wind keeps the door open, James. Oh. Hang on tight! There we are, safe and sound. Right, Arnold. I think it's time for another test run of the Fire Dog 2000. Uh, is it just me or does the Fire Dog look sort of angry? No, nope, not just you. Oh dear, oh dear, oh dear. Well, it looks like the streets of Ponty Pansy are safe, Sam. We might make that whole month without fires after all. You never know, Ellie. We might just do that. Ah! <laughs> 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 oh, Fire Dog 2000! This looks like a job for Atomic Boy! Be careful, James! <laughs> Biometric identification system seems to be targeting its subjects with hostile intent. Uh, what? It sees people and chases them. Invisible Norman man's chance to save the day from useless atomic boy. Uh, be careful, Norman. I don't need to be careful. I'm invisible, which means I can wait a minute. You can see me. We can all see you, Norman. But that means... You can see me. Run, Norman! Oh, dear. Well, I hope they stay away from my cans of petrol. Uh-oh. Better call Fireman Sam. Norman Price is being chased by a robotic dog that's on fire. Norman Price is being chased by a robotic dog that's on fire. The Fire, fire dog, dog 2000! This could be a big fire. Better take Jupiter! Penny, we're going to need you! 
On my way! Stay back, everyone! Keep a safe distance away! Norman Man is doomed! shovel and try to get on telly again. We need to hurry, Sam. It's filling up fast. What about Phoenix? Phoenix would be strong enough, but we'll never get her up here in time. Hmm. There is one other thing that might be strong enough to lift up that submarine. Master 2000. I think it might be at the bottom of the lake, Joe. Oh dear, oh dear, oh dear. go this way, and from the look of it, I'd say Mandy and the horse skidded in this direction all the way over to here. There they are! <gasps> I'd better call Fireman Sam. Ah! Mandy and her horse are stuck at the bottom of a slope past the crossroads on the Ponty Bundy Hills. Mandy and her horse are stuck at the bottom of a slope past the crossroads on the Ponty Pandy Hills. Careful, Penny. We're about to head onto unsteady ground. Mandy, are you hurt? Sam's ready. The stretch is ready. Then let's go. <laughs> How 
How's the horse? He was very scared, but I patted him and told him not to worry. Ah, oh, well done, Mandy. The horse is very calm. Now, let's give him a check. Okay, Mandy. To get you up, just to be safe, I need you to lie on a stretcher. Lie flat for me. The horse is fine. We're ready for Phoenix's crane. Oh! The noise is scaring the horse. Old Phoenix. There, there. Sam, I'm going to keep the horse calm as you strap him into the sling. But do it slowly, OK? That's it. Stay nice and calm. And he's out. Thanks, Lizzie. I think we'd better call Fireman Sam. Norman, Mandy, James and Sarah are heading out to sea at full throttle on Neptune looking for alien insects. Norman, Mandy, James and Sarah are heading out to sea at full throttle on Neptune looking for alien insects. Oh, I miss the days when we used to rescue cats from trees. rule of search and rescue. The higher up you go, the further, further you, you can, can see. see. Take her up, Tom. I see them. They're near the lighthouse. James is in trouble. We need to get there fast. I was trying. 
trying to call Fireman Sam, but I don't need to now you're here. Oh. Actually, maybe we do need to call Fireman Sam. There is a forest fire near the mill. There's a forest fire near the mill. And the wind is making it spread quickly. And the wind is making it spread quickly. We're on our way, sir. Penny, bring Jupiter and meet us at the mill. Roger that, Sam. Wash your shirt anyway, Norman. Here's Fireman Sam! Looks like the fire's spreading fast, Sam. Ellie, you operate the outlets on Jupiter. Come on, Penny! Let's put out that fire! Turning it off, and Tom's not due back with the proper CD for hours. Listen, you overpriced, oversized bucket of junk. Switch off now, and that's an order. Oh, I'm sorry, Norris. I'm afraid I can't do that. Well, I'll show you. Uh, no, sir, I, I don't think that's a. Switch on to pool party mode. Great heavens! <laughs> Ooh, tropical. has caused a wildfire in the mountains and it's spreading quickly. I think it's going to be one of those days. There, all out. Sparklers and dry grass? Not a good mix, Norman. Sorry, Fireman Sam. I was just trying to be extra magical. You know what would be really magical? If you stayed out of trouble for the rest of the day. The final scene will be danger-free, I promise. Well, let's hope so. And now, the big blue flagging scene! Take one! No, Norman. That zip wire is really high up. It's all part of my mega magical special effects. I want this movie to go viral, remember? I want so many hits, I break the internet. The only thing you'll break is your leg. I'll be okay. I am an ace director. Oh, I can't look. Master Wizard is dangling from a zip wire above the waterfall, hanging upside down by his foot. I should have seen that one coming, really. No, no, 
This is not part of the show. It... Listen to me, everybody. We need to evacuate the area. The Mountain Activity Center is on fire, and my show is in ruins. The Mountain Activity Center is on fire, and Station Officer Steele's show is in ruins. Everyone, move away from the fire! Over here, Cridlington! Oh, oh, it won't reach, sir! The hose is too short! Right, there's only one thing for it. We'll have to do it like the old days. Everyone, find a bucket! We need to make a line from the lake! Okay, team. We need to make sure the area is clear. Roger that, Sam. Tom. Tom, we've got a fire at the Mountain Activity Centre. We need Wallaby 2. Roger that, Sam. You can. <laughs> okay, Fireman Sam. All clear, Sam. All clear, Sam. We're all clear, Tom. Roger that, Sam. Ready, team? Now, let's pass the bucket, just like we did in the show. Pass, pass, pass. Pass the bucket to the next man. Pass, pass, pass. Pass it to the right. My father would be proud. Fires out, everyone. Oh, uh. I suppose that was a good way to do it. We better call Fireman Sam. We can't. The radio is in the tent. I'll run to the rescue center and call for help. Trevor and I'll get everyone to safety. Come on, kids. Oh, I sure hope that fire doesn't spread to the forest. James, you've completed the Fireman's Arm Challenge! Hooray! Oh. Now, I just need to finish this. We're back! Oh. Oh. Uncle Sam, I spotted something else, but it's not in the house. What is it, James? There's a fire on the mountain! That's where the pioneers are. I'd better call the station. There's a fire on Ponty Pandy Mountain. There's a fire on Ponty Pandy Mountain! The forest trails are too small for Jupiter. We'll need to take Venus. Come <laughs> on. 
water cannon, Penny. We have to contain the fire. I'm on it. That's dampened it down, Penny, but we could do with some backup. Hang on, Sam. I'm on my way. That'll do nicely. Now oh, I've lost my paddle. I think I can reach it. Oh, no, now I've lost mine. We're floating away. Only one thing for it. What's that? That's Norman and Derek. Oh, dear. Sam, help! We can't get back. Grab hold of the end! Oh, thanks, Fireman Sam. Thank you. You two need to be a bit more careful. Sorry, Sam. Uncle Sam, look over there! Oh, no. We have to deal with that before it spreads. What? Where are the beaters? The what? The floppy shovels. You see, the thing is, we use them as paddles. Last time we saw them, they were floating off down the river. It was all Norman's fault. I don't care whose fault it was. If we can't beat out that fire, it's going to spread fast. No broken bones. It's just badly bruised. Thank goodness for that. What on earth has been going on here? We've been getting fit. Well, I hope you had a warm-up before you started. Well, I... And built up slowly. <laughs> <gasps> There's a woodland fire near the mill. There's a woodland fire near the mill. Hold on! Where do you think you lot are going? There's no way this crew is fit for duty. But there's a fire in the woods. I'm afraid, sir, this is down to us. What? Oh, oh, yes, us. <laughs> yes. I, I'll just get my helmet. Stay well back, everyone. Help will be here very soon. Where's the rest of the crew, sir? I'll explain later, Sam, but we're here now and ready for action. OK, then. Let's get this fire under control. You two take the hoses. I'll start beating. Right. On with the show. Oh, hello, Ponty Pandy. Elvis. Oh, yes. Well, well done, Quidlington. Always knew you could do it. <laughs> right. All clear, everyone. Back to the station. Well, I just hope that Mike does as well as me. Hello, Ponty Pandy! I'd like to introduce you to the new member of my band, the Strum Master 2000. There's a place I know where the people say hello Your new band member's not exactly Elvis, is he, Dad? He will be! Turn 
Mike Flood's guitar machine has gone out of control and set the stage on fire. Elvis, you and Ellie go in Jupiter. Penny, you and Arnold take Venus. I'll take Mercury. Arnold, you get everyone to safety. Elvis, make sure the power's off. Penny, you help me tackle the blaze. Roger that, Sam. Sam. Power's off, Sam. I don't think the Strum Master 2000 will make it to his solo. Move back, everyone. Yes, you all need to be at least 5.5 metres further back for maximum safety. Your side, Sam. Penny, time for plan B. Roger that, Sam. Faster, Ben. Look out for the ice. Sam, Titan can't get past the ice. Roger that, Penny. Tom, are you there? We're going to need Wallaby One. On the line. I don't like out of control trains that are on fire. Do something, Normaxo! Okay, um, Normaxo will phone Mom. I'll call my alien buddies to fly in and rescue us on my interstellar communication device. That's your shoe, Norman. That's true. Plots will be done that Norman, this isn't time. Norman, shh, I'm on a call. Flyers above the train top. No worries, Sam. No, Maxo, look! Your phone call works! <gasps> it's a UFO! UFO! Aliens! <laughs> oh, Norman? Shh, I'm hiding from the aliens! Sorry, Sam. We'll have to head back to the rescue centre till this blizzard blows over. There's just too much snow. That's it. Snow! Drop me off here, Tom. Area. 
kitchen is clear. Station Officer Steel has finally given up on the toffee apples. Yeah, he's just there, Elvis. Oh. Ah. Uh. Oh! There is a fire at a children's party at the Holfish Cafe. There's a fire at a children's party at the Whole Fish Cafe. The fire's getting worse. Everyone, lie down on the floor. Get as low as you can. Come on, let's do as Penny says. The door is blocked and the children are trapped in the back. Elvis, you take the hose and I'll get the crowbar. Firefighter Sam, air 100%. Ready, Elvis. Firefighter Ready, Ready Sam. Air 100%. Keep back, everyone. One at a time, take my hand and stay low. <laughs> That's it, Mandy. Come to me. Where are Sarah and James? <laughs> All the children are out, sir, but keep everyone back until we have this fire under control. Sometimes floods, it's really dangerous. <coughs> Don't worry, Mandy, I'm coming down. <sighs> Are you okay, Mandy? Here's some water. You're a long way down. What do you think, Penny? I can't carry her up. There's no room for us both to fit. We've got to find another way. What's that noise? Two experts are better than one. What's going on down there? I can hear Station Officer Steele working on the handcart. She'll be growing batty wings by now and hanging upside down. Poor Mandy Bat. Moose, is there a map of the caves? Yeah, right here. These are the caves. They go into the mountain this way. And the old mines go into the mountain this way. And they get pretty close, just where Mandy is trapped. All ready to go, thanks to two experts. <laughs> it needs two drivers as well. Who's coming with me? You're the one who knows about emergency rescues, Norris. Oh, no, 
it's shaking! Don't worry, Mandy, it's Sam. 